Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and wanting it at this time for my client Michelle's training vlog. And this is going to be part two for the week because she does six workouts every week, which is way more than any of my other clients. We're splitting these vlogs into uh, two per week instead of one like a lot of the traditional client vlogs. Um, so we do a six day upper lower split for her right now. And then she does cardio and conditioning afterwards. Keeping in mind she is getting ready uh, for bikini competition, although the possibility is open that she may sign up for like figure instead, uh, just depending on, upon how much muscle she gains, because now that I am training her again, she's probably going to gain muscle quickly. Uh, we're regaining lost ground. And so again, this is what we're doing. And for those who are not aware, I train her different in terms of volume than most people uh, because she needs it for mental reasons, for physical health reasons, everything else. Uh, so again, I and we'd use it as part of her conditioning. So just be aware uh, her situation is a little bit different. She also has a background as a serious boxer with a high level of conditioning. So again, her work capacity, her conditioning, all of that is, is through the roof. It is way beyond the average person. Um, so to kind of look at what we're doing, this is from the, the fourth workout of the week, which is a lower. So we do the fourth, fifth, and sixth in this vlog. Um, we start with hack squats. So you guys will notice the further we get into the training week, uh, what happens? We go from the bigger movements to slightly smaller ones, a little bit more machines, a little bit more isolation, and the reps go up. So we start the week, you know, in that 5 to 10 rep range, and we end it up around, uh, you know, 12 to 15 on everything. So we start with those hack squats, and then she does uh, Romanian deadlifts. I'm having her do... Uh, standing barbell calf raises there because she doesn't have a, I don't believe, a calf raise machine. Uh, she had been doing uh, dumbbells, so I kind of do do them with a barbell like I do them. Uh, so she does those with a barbell. Uh, then we come over to machine isolation work. So then we do the leg extensions and leg curls. And a lot of these are done as a tricep. So a lot of times the things like the hack squats and RDL, she'll superset those. Um, then stuff like uh, some of the calves and other leg work can be done as supersets, as trisets. You know, if the same muscles are not involved, we can do that, right? We can get away with doing that stuff to where she can either superset, uh, you know, one of the calves with the leg extensions or superset the other with uh, the leg curls, or she can do three of the different movements as a tricep. So then we finish up with seated leg curls, right? Finish up with the seated leg curls. Um, then we get over to her last upper body day of the week. And in the case of this, uh, we come in and we do incline dumbbells. So again, notice through the week, we do hit her chest from all three angles. Um, that there is actually dumbbell work is being done on, on flat, decline, and incline. Uh, the barbell work is mostly just being done with flat and incline. Um, and again, I'm fully aware this is a huge amount of volume. But right now, because... Um, a lot of her back and chest got detrained a little bit. We are, we're putting some extra effort into some of that because even when she was a power lifter, her pecs tended to oftentimes limit uh, her benching. Like her triceps were crazy strong, but we needed more chest work. Also keeping in mind there's a history of shoulder surgery and stuff there. So we do get limited uh, angles we can work some of those things from, so we have to make all of that work. Uh, so for that, then we superset the uh, pressing with lat pull downs, right? So we superset the pressing with lat pull downs. And I didn't get footage. She's got some other, other chest work in here on this day. Uh, I think we got footage of that there on that one. But then we have, after that, we have seated cable rows. And then we have cable flies. Actually, that is, that is the other chest. I just realized that. So it's all smaller work. So it's inclined dumbbell, then we do the cable. So I apologize for stating that. Because again, most of these days we do about six direct sets on each of the three days, giving us about 18 total sets before we get into you know all the extra nuance of all the arm work because there's going to be overlap on all that. Uh, because she does usually three sets for delts of some type and then three sets for biceps and triceps all separately on these days in addition to the the six sets of chest six sets of back uh, so again that gives us as far as a lot of that direct work like nine sets for biceps nine sets for triceps you know nine sets for side delts through the week but again that is not counting the 18 sets for chest and back which do hit those things too um, so then after after that then we come over to usually a, like a tricep on her shoulders and arms. So here she's doing dumbbell lateral raises. 
Um, and we're going to get those shoulders back up to, to where they are, were previously. Um, now that I've, I've got her back uh, full time, we're going to get those shoulders back. Because keep in mind, I coached Michelle for over two years straight. Right? We built an enormous base, got her ready for powerlifting, and now she's, uh, again, doing bikini and bodybuilding. So, and she's just now kind of starting her diet down. She's going to probably diet for, you know, five or six months uh, going into that. So she's starting to slowly diet down. Uh, so we're going to start that process. Um, for, the, for the arm work, though, uh, she is doing incline curls on this day, and then we're supersetting it with incline extension. So incline curls and incline extensions. And for people, if we're trying to get a good arm pump and stretch, I really like this combination because you can do them right there on the same bench. And for a lot of people, the rep ranges are going to be pretty close to each other, even with the same dumbbells. So you can grab the same set of dumbbells, walk it over the bench, and then superset the two movements. Um, and then, of course, I have her finish off with a little bit of posterior deltoid uh, because, again, I want to make sure things like the rear delts are being finished, particularly when she's going to be on a stage. All right. All these little finishing touches do start to add up. So, again, making sure that things like the, the posterior deltoids are good is, is something that has to be done here. And some of that is also the difference between, you know, what is to getting a really impressive physique versus getting a truly competitive physique. Uh, you know, and in her case, again, we are going for a competitive physique and we want to maximally develop everything. And that's something her and I discussed is something I've even seen someone I know, a really good, really good bikini and bodybuilding coach named uh, Craig, who works with, uh, with a lot of natural athletes. I think he works exclusively with natural. He's kind of basically said... Um, you know, don't worry about fixing proportions. Get everything j as jacked as possible if you're natural. Get everything jacked and let your genetics and structure determine what division you compete in. Rather than trying to force yourself into a division, your genetics don't match. And I think that's an interesting way uh, to look at it. And that's a guy who's got, you know, like 25 years of uh, coaching professional natural physique competitors. Uh, so probably knows what he's talking about, and it makes a lot of sense. Um, but that's something her and I did discuss on this uh, a couple days ago. Uh, so we're just going to just get her jacked. We're just going to build every single head of every muscle maximally and let her genetics really ultimately determine what division she is most competitive in. All right, so for uh, the final lower body day, we start off with high rep hack squats. Keep in mind, we already did barbell squats on uh, earlier in the week, so we're not worried about those heavy barbell movements. Keep that in mind. Log one each week is going to have all that heavy barbell work. This is all just building muscle from every angle, using machines, using isolation, higher reps, whatever we need towards the end of the week. So our week flows in that direction. So we did that. Then we have her doing a hip thrust, and, and I let her use a hip thrust machine. I personally like the barbell, but she likes the machine. She feels comfortable with it, so we run with it. Um, and then, of course, after that, our next leg exercise is single leg leg presses. Uh, she got the machine to do it. We might as well. Then we finish up with some uh, more standing uh, calf raises, right? Standing calf raises. We got to get her, her calves bigger. Again, critical for especially for like women's bikini. Calves, calves, calves. Uh, and then hamstring curls and then seated calf raises. Uh, so that pretty much finishes up. Uh, so I hope it has been informative and I will talk to you guys and gals next time.